I'm Carnage, my name is Espresso, and welcome to the new year, 2017, and for the next three months, I'm going to be writing the wrong year on every exam I take, every term paper I write, and all that good stuff, so to bring us into the new year, I thought we'd do something a little special once again, and recap our past year of top fives in a special top ten clips of 2016. Now, we did this last year, and you guys absolutely blew it out of the water with support, so it's only fitting to do it again, and to start off the year with a bang, taking a look at the last year, and the submissions we got over that course of time. So these 10 were the top number one placings throughout the entire year. So we're going to be looking at some of the best of the best. And that said, if you guys do enjoy, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you guys want to check out my channel, link is down there in the description below. Helps me out as a channel grow and is of course greatly appreciated. But without further ado, I bring you the top 10 clips of 2016. So starting us off at number 10, we have Mystic Venom with some frontier gameplay and he's going to be on a tear and this just kicks off a long list of clips clips that showcase the pure carnage and gun work that this channel is built on and loves to showcase. So he goes to town picking off enemies left, right, and center, and eventually it's going to accumulate into a 13-man feed with resulting few moments of quad feeds and even for a split second, a five-man on screen. So definitely a solid one to kick us off here for this countdown. Now, number nine, that goes to Drew XY, bringing us the first Nuketown clip of the day, and this one might not be what you think, and there's not many places is to trick shot on this map so he's gonna call his shot work his magic and then hit the very shot that he just called and the reactions of course are priceless and we'll let you have a little listening to that right now so one of two trick shots down but don't worry, the other isn't exactly what you'd expect, but we'll get there in a second. Number eight on the charts goes to Vulcan playing some safeguard and showcasing some precision shooting. This one is gonna be absolutely brilliant. We know the Dracon with Thermal doesn't get the best aim assist, so it's a tough little devil here to use, and that's not gonna stop Vulcan though, who's gonna end up getting a six man on screen and for a very, very split second, a seven man on screen at one point as well, all of which are headshots. Now, if that's not something, I don't even know what is. That's just absolutely beautiful. Number seven, though, goes to I'm My Land. And yes, this is definitely a spawn trap clip, but I don't care because when you can last this long while taking shots in hardcore, in domination, in nuketown spawns, that's some warrior material right there. He's going to be getting a solid few feeds, including a couple five-man on-screens, a few quads, and it's all smooth sailing here on this one. And as a result, brings the total up to 18 kills in a few seconds. And the kill chain is here achieved as well, and it's a load of XP and score from the attacking nature, so looks good to me, and it's going to take number seven today. Number six is going to belong to Abroth's Finest, and bringing us perhaps one of the most spectacular ways I've ever seen to end a round of search and Destroy. He's going to pick up one and two with a shotgun to bring the round to a 4v1 bomb planted and all that. He's got the enemy in his sights and instead of just the standard trick shot here with the SVG, we're going to mix it up a bit and instead hit him with the combat axe via ricochet. The spins, the bounce, and the finish, that just makes this kill cam absolutely beautiful and probably is one of the best trick shots that I've ever seen and for sure is my favorite here out of this year's trick shot submission. So that's going to take number six, moving us into number five. Since we're talking about combat axes, how about an insane one by OSG Illusions? Just when you think you've seen some solid cross map action before, we're here to shut that one down with this one. Illusions is going to toss the axe across the map from spawn and instead of just one, how about two kills with that combat axe? Drops one player and falls into another. The one-two punch that rounds us into the home stretch here with this one. Number four is the start of the ones just for you guys, the ones that once again depict what we're all about 
the nasty strings of kills just going absolutely off. Tiger Insidious brings us into the final few with an absolutely mad rush through the spawns in Nuketown in which he ends up getting a few nice feats here, most notably a five man on screen with his Kuda at one point, but it's going to ultimately make it out to be a 13 kill clip in which he ends up not getting only the chain kill, but rather the ultra kill medal, which is an awesome little piece to bring back from the battle. That is gonna take number four. Number three though belongs to It's Demi, and this one baffled me since day one, but in a great way. Demi is gonna go absolutely off and it has his Wraith providing overwatch in this one and subsequently the enemies are a bit preoccupied trying to take it down but naturally Demi is going to bust out the wrench in which as I recall was rather new at this point in time and he goes absolutely to town with this thing. It's all capped off with a total of 14 kills with the wrench and two with the Wraith, 16 kills in total in the spawn of Nuketown with a melee weapon only. That's absurd and awesome to see the carnage unfold here with this one, but number two is gonna one-up that one a little bit. That goes to Can't Stop Rushing, and man, the name sure suits him here with this one. This clip is absolutely ridiculous, swapping between weapons and the Tempest, and all the good stuff that comes along with the rushing on Nuketown. This one, wrapping streaks like it's his job, he's gonna end up picking up 22 gun and Tempest kills with a few more thrown in there from the Wraith watching his six, but the hype becomes real and the chain killer was definitely achieved here at this one, and it sure looks beautiful to watch this in all its glory. All the kills unfold on this map that sometimes proved to work against you, but this time it was nothing but perfect. And it's gonna take number two, the penultimate clip with this one in this year's recap. And quite honestly, I couldn't think of a better way to end off this recap than with these two clips absolutely fantastic and just ripping the enemies to shreds but number one though however that's gonna go to our man on bxn he's gonna be closing out 2016 with a beauty this one is all about precision shooting all bob and weave on a map that is a bit bigger than nuketown and has a lot of opportunities to get picked off as a result none of that matters though because he's gonna go absolutely off barely missing any shots one bursting and making those shots count to pull off some nice feeds in the process and no matter how you spin it he owns the feeds the spawns and the entire game in this clip and leaves my jaw dropping at the speed and precision of it all and nasty is not even enough for it but it's gonna top off not this week, but this entire year's recap for this special top 10. That's gonna take number one and the crown here for 2016. And I really hope you guys did enjoy. And honestly, I wanna thank you guys all for the support on this past year in the series. I've been honored and humbled to be able to bring you guys these clips and so many more the past year. It's been an absolute blast and I'm excited to see what awesome clips come our way in the upcoming year. So from all of us here at Carnage, I wanna thank you guys so much for the support and the continuation of that support into the new year and all that comes along with it and we look forward to 2017 and sharing it with you guys but that is we're gonna wrap it up here at this one however i'd love to keep going on with this one but it's been a beefy one i can't do it we've done all that we have here with this so hopefully you guys did enjoy that said if you guys did make sure you guys drop a like down below and of course if you guys are new to the channel make sure you guys stick it right here to see all the cool stuff we have coming up in the very near future for you guys and if you guys want to check out my channel link is down there in the description below i'm on the road to 60,000 subscribers so every little bit does help me out and is of course greatly appreciated but all that said and out of the way thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys had a great new year's eve into new year and we look forward to seeing everything that we have and sharing all of that with you guys in 2017 so thank you dudes so much for watching my name has been espresso i will see you guys later take care and peace